Police are investigating a hate crime after racists spray painted the word chink on a British Chinese businessman's brand new BMW and sabotaged his brakes. Adrian Wong, 27, discovered the vile slur and key scratches on the bodywork of his 14,000-pound car on Tuesday, just two weeks after buying it in Falkirk, Scotland. The business analyst also discovered expanding foam on the brake discs of his BMW 1 Series Coupe, causing an estimated £1,500 in damage and posing a crash risk. Mr Wong has no idea why he has been targeted and is now living in fear in case the racists vandals return. He said, It's upsetting because in this day and age I didn't expect words like this to be used anymore. Words like that I haven't heard in years, probably since I was at school. Last night was tough. At the moment I feel unsafe because these people know where we live. It isn't even the first time a BMW he owns has been targeted in 2016 Five panels on a different car were scratched with keys Mr Wong first believed the attack was just some children messing about until he saw the expanding foam which he thinks could have caused a serious crash He said, at first, it felt like it could be a kid.But with the expanding foam, that suggests these people actually know what they're doing. It's dangerous. The foam on the brake discs would have come off, but it probably would have damaged the brakes. It could have caused brake failure of some sort. I might have crashed. It wouldn't have been safe. Mr. Wong had only owned the car for a fortnight before then he owned an Audi and had no problems. After reporting this week's incident to the police, they confirmed they would be investigating the vandalism as of hate crime. He said, from this happening, we'll be upping our security to make sure they can't do anything in the dark. Mr. Wong, posting online, also wrote that jealousy is a terrible trait suggesting that the vandals may have targeted his vehicle as it is expensive. But he later went on to say that he could not think of a proper motive behind the attack, saying he is a friendly guy. He said on the window and door they'd sprayed a racial slur. It's completely random. I genuinely do not know why they've targeted me. I had a BMW again around three or four years ago. The car was also vandalized. It might be a recurring thing with the same person. Back then, it was quite a severe vandalism claim. Before this car, I had an Audi, and nothing happened with that. But now I've changed it, it's been vandalized. Mr. Wong suggested it might be a case of mistaken identity, but admitted he had a private registration, so it was unlikely.
he said, I don't go about trying to make enemies, and I try to come across as a friendly person. I'm often mentioned to be a polite and gentle person. People might see me as an easy target. After photos of the damaged car were posted online, members of the BMW enthusiast community rallied together to set up a crowdfunding page for Mr. Wong using the hashtag number Justice for Wong. In less than 24 hours, more than £1,000 was raised making the repairs a more realistic prospect. Mr. Wong has now thanked his neighbors and online supporters who have all come together to show their support. He said, I've only had the car for two weeks and I didn't want to put a claim onto my policy because it would affect the cost. I'd been sharing the details online, and someone kindly set up a Gotham website. I wasn't expecting anything from it, but the amount of support I've received from people has been overwhelming. I'm truly, truly humbled. I've have neighbors knocking on to see how I am. It has been amazing. Police Scotland has confirmed it is investigating the incident, which took place outside Mr. Wong's home between Monday, June 10 and on Tuesday, June 11. A spokesman said, a BMW car sustained damage to its bodywork and was spray-painted with a racist comment. This matter is being treated as of hate crime and inquiries are ongoing to identify those responsible. Anyone who can assist officers with their investigation is asked to come forward.